Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley, and today I am here with another C Sharp tutorial to help you get today in your course or core exam. And today we're here with how to do a range check using C Sharp. So a range check is where we're checking the size of an input is between two values. For example, let's say we want the user input to be greater than three characters long, but less than eight characters long. If we type in Bobby, that would be valid as Bobby is five characters and is between three and eight. But let's say we put in Bo, B O, that would be a length of two because there's two characters, and two is not between three and eight. It's less than eight but not greater than three, therefore would be considered invalid. That's our range check, so let's get right into it. So we've got string user input Bobby, this will represent the user input. If you want to know how to get user input using C Sharp, click the eye up in the corner. A very great tutorial to help you do that. Then we've got console.writeline range check user input 3 and 8. We're going to be printing out the result of a range check, which we are going to define in a moment. Then we've got console.read key to prevent the application from closing. So what you want to do is you want to do public static bool. Obviously, if this isn't in a static class, you don't include the static. So we're going to be making a boolean function. It will return a true or false. We do range check. That's the name of this function. String input, it's going to be the string we're going to check the length of. Int min and int max. The minimum value it must be or has to be greater than and the maximum value it must be or be less than. Afterwards, we do return. Input.length is greater than min, and input.length is less than max. But either way, you can do greater than and equal to and less than and equal to if you want to. But I'm not going to in this tutorial. But you can just put an equal signs with the less than or greater than signs, so don't worry. But input.length is going to get the length of the string. For instance, Bobby would make input.length be 5. And then we're going to check if 5 is greater than the minimum. In this case, the minimum is going to be 3. Then we're going to do AND, and then we do input.length again to get the length of the input, which would be 5, and then we check if it's less than the max. So let's say we have Bob. Bob is less than 8. So this part that I've highlighted will be true. But 3 is not less than 3. Therefore, this part would be false. And this return statement will only return a true if every condition is true. So if we've got a true and a false, that means this would return a false because it doesn't meet all the conditions. But if we have Bobby, which has a length of 5, it's greater than 3 and less than 8. So both of these conditions become true. Therefore, this function returns a true overall. That's the AND operator and requires everything to be true, otherwise you get a false. A bit of Boolean algebra for, for you. But that's it for that function. So if we save our work and hit play, as you can see, it says true because Bobby falls within that range. But if we were to put BO and hit play, it's false because it's not within the range. But if we, let's say, put a bunch of O's, so this is greater than eight characters, it's also false because it's not within the range. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more C-sharp tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.